Hello guys! Do you want to know how I get my renders from this to this? And keep watching is going to be a few small tips. So first of all you go to edit project settings you right here ray and you change dynamic global illumination method to standalone ray traced and that's it that's all you need to do so thank you for watching and i'm just kidding of course you would need to go to your post prots volume and edit all the settings here to get the best shadows and uh, better color grading and stuff but Another thing is, this will be available to you only if you have uh, RTX graphic card, which not everyone does. So there is also another component to what helped me to improve the render. So as you can see, first of all, it looks too dark, the shadows are too black, which ray tracing does fix, so it, it is much better. The second problem that I noticed is that uh, there is no motion blur. The fox is running, but you don't feel it as much because everything is too clean and too smooth. That's one of the biggest problems that make renders look unrealistic. Another thing that I see and I did not like was that stones look like clay. They also don't look like stones and Overall, you can just tell that uh, the lighting doesn't work, it's too yellow and the stones and monster look too unrealistic. So let's compare this to the newer version that I have. So as you can see, it looks much brighter, shadows look much more realistic and detailed. Also, you get a much better feeling of motion that Fox is actually running because you can get the motion blur and you have the camera shake but I also uh, changed the camera aperture, focal length and focus distance and I'm going to show you how it actually looks in the viewport and what it actually does so stay with me so we are in Unreal Engine this is the sequence editor and down here you can see the current aperture settings of the camera uh, current focal length and manual focus distance that you can change you're gonna see the changes immediately and they will be keyframed also here in the right corner you can see camera settings and actually activate draw the bug focus plane which helps you to actually see where exactly the focus of the camera is located which helps a lot uh, during the editing to be sure that the main object is in the focus so you can see that uh, the aperture, if you change it, the more of the frame is in focus than it was before. The focal length, it actually edits how much of the frame is in the camera. And the last one is manual focus distance, which you can actually edit which part of the frame is in the focus so you can clearly see how it works so here side by side you can see how i changed the focal length and aperture which helped me to separate with the camera focus much better foreground middle ground and background plus the camera shake and you get a much more realistic and better render so now you can enjoy the comparison of these two renders one after another So thank you very much for watching, that was all I wanted to share with you and as always this was Bruce and I am out.